Are you all right? That's a bad cough. Yeah, I could use a little maintenance. A filter change. I think you need a filter change. I think so too. Why don't you send an email to Atlas Copco? They'll fix you up in no time. That's a good idea. Thanks. I keep forgetting about those emails. We didn't have connectivity in the old days. Heck, we didn't even have planned maintenance. We just had to wait until someone came along to check on us. <sighs> and they didn't always use the original Atlas Copco spare parts. <gasps> but then, you were installed and you came with a service plan. Oh, it was all about peace of mind, avoiding unexpected stops, thanks to preventive maintenance by Atlas Copco. Their skilled technicians really know as well. And when they replace a component, they use the genuine parts, so we keep performing at our best. Yeah, and I'm living proof that correct service is good for the life expectancy of a compressor. <laughs> and it makes us even more reliable than in the old days. The old days? Is that all you baseload machines can talk about? I suppose those were the days when compressors couldn't talk. Exactly. Compressors couldn't talk in those days. So if one of them had a big mouth, nobody knew about it. And we couldn't go online either, so no chatting and no games. Whoa, it's a good thing I wasn't around then. But when they decided to really improve things, they installed me, the VSD, taking care of all the peaks in air demand without wasting energy. Well, yes. Atlas Copco came in and did an air scan. That's an audit to see if anything can be optimized. One of the first things they did was upgrade my controls. I didn't have these fancy buttons in those days. Very fancy, but it's a pity they stopped at your controls. Oh, and what about you? A so-called full feature, but they forgot to put in a little respect for older models. Gentlemen, please. Compressors are supposed to work together as a team. If you don't stop arguing, I'll just have to shut one of you down. Can he do that? Oh, yes, he's the one who's making us communicate in the first place. Really? How does that work? Oh, to explain that, I would have to tell you all about pressure bands, uh, flow profiles, specific energy requirements. No, I didn't think you'd understand. The main thing is that by making you all work together efficiently, I'm achieving major cost savings. Bravo, bravo. But what about all the heat you hotheads are producing? Did you ever think about what a waste of energy that is? So it's a good thing I'm here to convert that energy into useful heating. That's what I call sustainable productivity. Of course, in the old days, we could only dream about energy savings. Oh, there we go again. In the old days. <laughs> <laughs> a filter change! You need a filter change! 